so dear students let's start with the gradient then directional derivative this both are valid for a scalar point function then we'll have the next video we'll have the curl and divergence right so i'm starting with the first which is very important this is nothing but gradient so i'm writing here gradient gradient of so gradient of a scalar or gradient that's it so i'm having gradient first point which is very important point it is it is only valid for scalar point function it is only valid for a scalar point function dear students number 2 the second point is also important i am dictating please write down first point is what it is only valid for a scalar point function right it is the general please write down it is the general operation of del operator at any scalar point function at any point so that is means what the gradient of phi let us suppose i am having the i am having the scalar point function phi so gradient of phi is nothing but it is the del operator's general operation that means uh, neither dot nor cross so i'm having del dot or not i'm i'm not having dot and cross so del directly applied with phi so i'm writing here del operator there's nothing but i del by del x plus j del by del y and plus k del by del z right and phi is applied so i'm applying phi phi is in phi i'm taking inside so here we are writing phi and again i'm having phi and again i'm having phi absolutely fine so this is what i del phi by del x plus j del phi by del y plus k del phi by del z so this is what we are having the gradient so you can see the gradient with i j and k so you can write here the result of gradient is a vector quantity the next point the result of gradient is a vector quantity the result of gradient is a vector quantity and yes the result of gradient is a vector quantity and it is referred as what normal vector it is referred as what normal vector the gradient is referred as what normal vector dear students it is referred as what normal vector right so the result of gradient is a normal vector which is a vector quantity the next important point is what the next important point it gives the maximum rate of change it gives the maximum rate of change it gives the maximum rate of change of a scalar point function right it gives the maximum rate of change the result is what a vector quantity but it gives the maximum rate of change it is also referred as vector derivative it is also referred as vector derivative of any scalar point function it is also referred as vector derivative of any scalar point function so it is also referred as a vector derivative the next is very important and the next point is very important what if you are not if you are not knowing the direction of any plane let us suppose phi represents any plane right i am having here phi x comma y comma z and it is representing a single or, or we can say we do not know the plane right we do not know the direction of the plane it is a plane but without direction i, I do not know the direction right so what is the direction it comes with n cap so you can write please write down the direction of the plane can be evaluated by the gradient of a vector of a scalar point function or gradient of this plane if phi is a plane let us suppose phi is a plane so what is the n cap or direction or normal vector is nothing but gradient of phi but yes we have some magnitude so we need to divide the uh, vector with its magnitude so that we will have only direction so this is nothing but a unit vector right so gradient is what it it uh, what do we mean by it is a normal unit vector n cap and that is what gradient upon its mod and it gives the direction for this plane so it is nothing but the direction of this plane so let us have the example for gradient right i am having the example for gradient so i'm having the scalar point function dear students phi x comma y comma z i'm having the scalar point function 6 x square y minus 3 
x y z power 2. So, I am having what 6 x cross x square y minus 3 x y z square we need to find the gradient of phi gradient of phi at point 1 comma 1 comma 1. So, we need to find the gradient of phi at point 1 comma 1 comma 1 and again it remember the result of gradient is a vector quantity. So, it cannot be asked in a numerical answer type, but I am giving the numerical answer type because I am taking the example right I am taking it as example ok. So, phi is equal to this. So, what I am having the gradient of phi. So, you can write gradient of phi is equal to del operators general operation. So, what we have please write down del operator again and again I am having del by del x with i cap plus j del by del y and plus k del by del z dear students here i j and k are the vectors unit vectors in the direction of x y and z we know that ok now 6 x square y minus 3 x y z power 2. So, let take the function inside with this del operator. So, I am having what I am having i cap differentiating this with respect to x. So, I am having 12 12 x y minus this is what 3 right. So, x is what differentiation of x is what 1. So, 3 y z square. So, I am writing 3 y z square with i cap plus j cap with respect to y. I am differentiating with respect to y. So, what I am having is 6 x square minus with respect to y 3 x z square. So, I am having 3 x and z square. Now, plus k with respect to z. Here, we do not have any z that means this value is 0. So, with respect to z, I am having what minus 3 x y into 2 z because the differentiation of z is nothing but 2 z correct. So, let us put the value 1 1 1 here. So, gradient of phi you can put and find the value right. So, gradient of phi at 1 comma 1 comma 1 what I am getting is see this is what 1 1 again this is 1 1. So, 12 minus 3 is nothing but 9. So, I am having what 9 i cap plus this is what 6 minus 3 is nothing but 3 and we are having x 1 this one and again this one. So, 6 minus 3 is 3. So, plus 3 j cap and plus what we are having is minus and again putting this 2 into 3 is 6 and x 1 y 1 and z 1. So, with minus sign we are having what minus 6 3 to the 6 and this is what our k. So, this is nothing but the value of the gradient it is yet yes it is a vector quantity we are having the vector quantity. So, this is what gradient it is really easy to find the gradient because in the scalar point function we just need to differentiate and yes for us for engineers the easiest thing is what differentiation right. So, differentiation is easy. So, we can find the gradient and gradients next step is what directional derivative right. So, in the number point 2 so is the number 1 gradient in point 2 will have the directional derivative. So, I am writing number 2 directional directional derivative. In this video we will discuss only 2 because this 2 are the same type and another video will discuss another 2 because that 2 are the same type right. So, I am having the directional derivative please write down the very first point. The directional derivative is only valid for a scalar point function. The directional derivative again it is only valid for a scalar point function. The directional derivative is only valid for the scalar point function right. So, let us have the scalar point function and again what is the again definition of directional derivative is nothing but it is the vector derivative of a scalar point function please write it down. It is the vector derivative of scalar point function along any given direction. So, this is the vector derivative. So, we need to calculate the vector derivative and vector derivative is nothing but the gradient right. So, we need to calculate the gradient first. So, gradient of phi we need to calculate right. So, I am calculating gradient of phi first. So, for this we are having gradient of phi this is what del and here I am having phi gradient of phi fine. Now, what next it is the 
वेक्टर डेरिवेटिव ऑफ अ स्केलर पॉइंट फंक्शन अलोंग अ गिवन डायरेक्शन सो गिवन डायरेक्शन दैट मीन्स डायरेक्शन शुड बी गिवन सो हियर वी आर गिवन विद द डायरेक्शन डी वैक्टर सो फर्स्टली वी नीड टू हैव ओनली डायरेक्शन सो द ओनली डायरेक्शन दैट मीन्स द यूनिट वैक्टर ऑफ डी कैप द डी सो दैट इज नथिंग बट डी कैप इज इज इक्वल टू वैक्टर डी डिवाइडेड बाई मॉ डी सो दिस इज वॉट वी आर हैविंग वॉट द यूनिट वैक्टर no the formula for directional derivative dear students so i can write directional derivative is equal to is equal to what the vector derivative along this direction so for along we are using what we are using what inner product that means dot dot product so i'm having what the vector derivative is nothing but gradient of phi dot because this is the vector quantity dot d cap so this is nothing but the directional derivative and you can see the result of directional derivative is nothing but a scalar quantity please write it down the result of the result of directional derivative is a scalar quantity so how can we calculate the directional derivative how can we calculate the directional derivative it is nothing but the gradient multiplied or dot product with the the given direction correct so this is nothing but the gradient and dot product with the given direction dear students so the maximum value is nothing but the mod value the maximum of dd that is directional derivative is nothing but mod value of gradient of phi because the mod value of d cap is nothing but 1 so maximum directional derivatives value is equal to gradient phi is mod that means we do not need to have the uh, d cap calculation right we can by calculating the gradient of phi we can directly have the maximum that means magnitude of uh, directional derivative is nothing but the gradient of phi is mod value right now let us have the example let us have the example which can be asked in the gate examination because i am taking the example related with the or relevant with the gate examination so let us have the function f is equal to 4 x square y z plus x square y square z square so this is our function please write it down 4 x square y z plus x square y square z square find the directional derivative find the directional derivative of f of f which is a scalar point function along of f at at 1 to 1 right at 1 to 1 along so i'm given i'm giving you the direction along vector along vector right vector i cap plus Uh, so we can create like a, we can create uh, to crisp it right so i am having i cap and uh, okay so i am having 3 i cap plus plus 4 k cap so i am having 3 i cap plus 4 k cap is a direction so what is the directional derivative is a vector derivative first of all we need to calculate the vector derivative so i am calculating the gradient of f so calculation of gradient of f right so i am calculating gradient of f here so you can see the del operator with f we are having what del operator is nothing but i del by del x plus j del by del y plus k del by del z dear students and now we are having what f it is nothing but 4 x square y z plus plus x square y square z square so in writing the function inside the del operator i am having i cap here we can see with respect to x and with respect to x right so i'm with respect differentiating with respect to i'm having what 8 x y z c 2x that means 8x y z plus plus 2 x y square z square okay plus j with respect to y so here we are having y also so 4 x square this y is 1 i am having z plus 2 x square y and z square so i am having here k 
So, k and differentiating with respect to z the whole functions differentiation. So, I am having 4 x square y right I am here I am having 4 x square y because the differentiation of z is 1. So, 4 x square y plus with respect to z we are having what 2 x square y square and z right. So, after the calculation of gradient you can directly put here the point only. So, I am putting the point. So, gradient of f let us have for the simplification let us have the point 1 1 1 t l stress because we are learning it right. We do not need to have the answer, we do not have to have the con, uh, we do not need to have the calculation complicated. So, let us have the 1 1 1 point. So, I am creating the gradient at 1 1 or 1 is equal to right. So, please check also the differentiation there is the, uh, the mistake should not be done with us. So, uh, this is what x square that means 4 x y is absolutely fine and this is 2 x correct right. Now, y with respect to y this is what having oh, y x square is that correct and y with respect to correct. Now, with respect to z this is value the z respect to z and we are having correct ok. Now, we are putting 1 1 1. So, i cap this 1 1 1 and again 1 1 1 all the value plus that means we are having 10 i because 8 plus 2 is equal to 10 plus 4 plus 2 this is nothing but 6 j cap plus 4 plus 2 again we are having what 6 k cap. So, dear students we are having what 10 i cap plus 6 j cap plus 6 k cap. Now, this is our vector derivative. Now, we need to multiply right we need to multiply this vector derivative with our direction. So, that uh, the direction is given as the direction is given as d vector is equal to this is the direction right along 3 i plus 4 k. So, I am writing here 3 i cap plus 4 k cap. So, what is the unit vector in the direction of vector d? It is nothing but vector d divided by its mod. So, what is the value of mod? So, I am having here under root 3 square that is 9 plus 4 square that is 16 into 3 i plus 4 k correct. So, we are having with the d cap is nothing but 16 plus 9. So, 16 plus 9 is 25 root 25 is nothing but 1 by 5. So, I am having here 3 i plus 4 k. Now, the final value we are having directional derivative dear students. So, what is the value of directional derivative? It is nothing but gradient of f at 1 1 1 and into d cap. So, here we are having the gradient of f at 1 1 1 and here we are having the d cap right. So, I am what we are having is 1 upon 5. So, let us multiply i i with i. So, 10 into 3 this is what 30 plus j dot j 0 k dot k. So, here we are having 4 and there is 6. So, 4 6 is a 24. So, I am having here 24. So, what is the answer is 70 ok sorry this is the answer what we are having is 54 divided by 5 is the answer. So, 54 30 plus 24 is 54 divided by 5 is the answer for the directional derivative. So, in this video we just have the concept and also the physical significance related with the gradient and directional derivative with the example and yes we will have the booklet question also, but, but before going to the directly booklet question related with the gradient and directional derivative we will start the divergence and curl in the next video and then we will go directly with the booklet question related with completely del operator distance. So, let us start with the next video this is nothing but basics of divergence and curl.